So I was like, damn, these these hoes so bad. But they ain't bitch, you ain't got your shit right. together. Mm. Right. So I don't look at people as like this. I don't. I don't. I don't. You're not a bad bitch to me just because you're pretty and you're fine. Come on, mm. that part. How you, is where your shit? Your shit together? Right. Like, that part. You got your your shit straight. Mm. When you die, are your is your is your burial plan good? <laughs> Why are you living? What are your investments? But you how, did, how did you decide I'm gonna? So you were doing the street walking. Now that's real how talk. Did that transition to that's real thing? talk. Well, I used to if you got if you don't got your shit together, on, but you I calling to yourself a bad bitch, and, and then you're downing everybody else. This is why I love T. S. Madison. You because she keeps it real, you she's gonna to share with you. She's gonna let look. You either take it or leave it. She ain't forcing it on nobody. She ain't trying. We're the same age. 40? Yeah. So I love it. Years ago, I love it because Mama D, I'm 48. Yeah. I'm you know, 48 and I and love it. Like people are like, what the fuck's going on? Now it's like, oh, that's a tranny. It's, which which we're not supposed to say got, in a way. Got, we got to get So it Sharon stop saying tranny. Yes, and I tell you that all the time. But, what? okay, but you cannot let me get my, because if she tells me to stop using yeah, she, it, I you, will stop using it. Okay, well, you should stop using Because I honestly didn't know it was an offensive term. Well, for me, at one point, it was not an offensive term. It was all dependent on the way that it was used. delivered and used, you know. She's so going to educate now, you guys. with me understanding that, Madison, your philosophy now is you have to respect everybody's individuality. Every individual has something that offends them. Just because tranny don't offend you, you don't can't mean say it don't offend, offend somebody else. Mm -hmm. That's so right. So for me, That's being a right. public figure, I have to say, don't use, don't okay. use. Well, don't I so will it's not transgender. Use. That's the political. Yes, term. I will not okay. use that word again. See, my girl, educating y'all. Well, she's well, educating in a classy is, way. Have you ever seen Kaya for me, do some classy it, shit? Have you ever seen her educate you on some shit? Financial gain for me. That's so part it was of not being a queen. It, it was not derogatory. But as I'm, I'm outside of that world now, and I'm like, okay, well, there's a world outside of the world that I lived in. So, and then I have to respect that. Everybody, every trans woman is not a porn star. Every transsexual is not a adult or, or, or sexual object. You know, even though I was comfortable with that because it was, I was, you know, for monetary gain. I can't say that she's comfortable with that. So didn't somebody recently try to fuck with you and post a photo of your before and after? Oh, they and always then, did. And then you took it and posted it and was like, "What?" Yeah. Mm -hmm. So where does the confidence and the security? Well, I'm and telling all you, that it's from? because I used to see bad bitches out there and they was broke. <laughs> mm. And I wasn't. I was always the ugly duckling. I never was the one that was the bad bitch. I was always the the, the, the ugly one. So, and I'm like, D you bitches got more problems than me. And y'all bad. Fuck y'all hoes. Y'all ain't bad bitches. I'm the bad bitch. So, you know, I started applying that to my everyday. Like, I'm not intimidated by women. I know that genetically, I'm not a born a woman. I I respect women. I, I've never had a sexual encounter with a woman because I have a different type of love for a woman. I think a woman is earth. Oh, mm. that was mm. deep. Cheese, cheese, mm. cheese. And I can't. Uh, have you ever heard Kaya talk about that? That's some classiness for your ass to think women that's are. That's the way I earth. look at women, like my mother, my sister. That's, that's like, power. I love you. you know, that's I'm power, not man. That's real that. talk. Nah, man, and y'all like, bitches, yeah, yeah. you want to so sit up here and you, y'all want to promote and fight and argue and trash? Us You're over Kai and A.T. Lynn's do bullshit, and this woman like ain't yeah. trash. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. She's telling you the respect she has he know, he for a he woman. Just, she's telling you, we queens. Yeah, I think it's very vibrant. I will hang out with you like you. I think you dope. I mean, listen, we would. And I'm a heterosexual straight man. No, no, I'm a heterosexual straight man that don't have a problem. Like well, I could, you know I when could, you say heterosexual straight, you, it can't, no, it doesn't it, matter because she says she's out. trans, she says transgender, mm -hmm. so I can say heterosexual. Yeah, yes, you can say heterosexual, you know? but and, then but you say straight. But it's just Jason has this stigma out. thing where he tries to throw me under the bus. Gio has, which well, literally not gonna get on Gio because we have a full hour with you, so let's keep talking. Okay. <laughs> well, you do know what a full hour usually costs, but okay, we're gonna wait. Though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, I love her. You were in Sydney at the airport, and I was in Sydney at the hotel, and we Facetimed, and I was. I'm just really happy about your success with Fox and working with Lee Daniels. Yeah, yes. Um, how, for the audience that don't know, how did that whole relationship come about? Lee Daniels was, it has been following me on Instagram, and you know, was a very familiar with your work. Not just not not a dope. No, wait, I don't I think it's I a dope. Your brand. I've done yeah. funny stuff. I'm funny. You said, but one thing you said to me is that Lee has his ear to the street. Like he knows what's oh, going baby, on. Oh, baby, Lee keeps his ear to the street. Lee knows exactly what's going on out here in the world. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something. I respect Lee because Lee is doing some profound things with 
LBGT people that a lot of LBGT I mean, he's pushing the envelope yes. and he's opening doors. And, he, and, he and that, that is amazing to me because we have a lot of LGBT people that are in place that are not using their their platform, platform to do yeah. that. Yeah. You know, and like I love who, Ruben. Tyler Perry? Why can't quite... Y'all better stop acting like the same Holly don't like us this year. But anyway, there are other people in the LGBT community yeah, that are like, opening I like, doors. Like, like RuPaul, like, even though RuPaul is going through like some backlash or something that he said about a transgender women on at RuPaul's Drag, drag Race. race. Mm-hmm. I, RuPaul was one of the first socially yeah. and commercially mm-hmm. acceptable. May, may I say, I, kind of, I understand what Ru was trying to say. I don't know. I don't know what he said. Okay, well, he said something... I'm not going to misquote him. I don't know, but just I, paraphrase. I, paraphrase. I, I see that the, the, the lot of tra- okay. a lot of trans people are uh, upset because they're they're trying to elude to him saying that trans people aren't supposed to be on Drag Race. But here's the thing: most transgender women ain't gonna identify as a drag queen. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. Real right. talk. You can't call me no drag. I'm, I'm, you know, but it all depends on the definition of so it. So, for people that aren't educated, the difference between a drag queen and a transgender person is the is what the identity. Yeah, a, a, a drag a, a transgender person identifies as, with, a, is, is, as a person so, that identifies with the opposite sex. Correct. I, I have what he said. Yeah. Uh, so RuPaul is under fire for comments that he made during an interview where he said. Um, He would probably not allow fully transitioned, transgendered individuals or bio queens, Uh biological women who Mm -hmm. mimic femininity through exaggerated drag characters to compete on RuPaul's Drag Race. So he's since apologized for his comments, um, but, you know, just saying he didn't intend to hurt people, but but people are upset. I didn't say I agree, but I understood where he's coming from. RuPaul is... I don't want to say older. He's an so OG. He's an OG, OG mm-hmm. LBGT, OG mm-hmm. back when things mm-hmm. were this is what it is. This is. The mm-hmm. new millennials now are really sensitive to a lot. To a, a lot, lot of stuff. stuff. They don't. So they they be, they still understand. Then they don't. They don't. They're like not getting it. Like, Everybody's learning. Saying, Everybody's learning. Man, like I said, the three L's: as, as you look, person, listen, and learn. I'm, and everyone still learning. But can I be a drag queen? Yes, because being a drag queen is also a job. It's also being it's 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 also going to work entertaining people on the stage in mm-hmm. in an in, in an impersonation in an illusion in a in a in a oh, mock up goodness. of identity as RuPaul says. So for and me, a lot of the drag queens that are doing drag are doing it in honor of their favorite icon or their celebrity, it, a right. share or a Whitney or whatever. However, there I'm are trans claiming it. Who do I'm drag. claiming it. Mm-hmm. I'm claiming it. There are genetic women who do drag that's true so i understand what rue says well you know this this is my show my competition is the traditional drag drag queen where a man with it identifies as a man gets up into drag for performance or for for performance Mm -hmm. so i understood it and I understood trans people angry because they're like, well, we were doing, we, we also do drag. I understand them too, but it's all about what you identify with. And, with. and see, everybody either. gets offended like, I when they, it's something they don't identify race with. Race they don't race. identify with, so they think, they, they're family sensitive family to it because they think because somebody's talking about them. I am a biological woman. I gave, given birth to nine children. And I'm just I, a drag queen. I can so, rel- so you know, I can relate to what they say. It's to each his own. It's how you feel. You, Everything uh, is so mental. You host the after show for it's some mental. Yes, I do. I work, but you I, have I to respect Fox, you know, a person it, it, oh my God, and how they feel and how they want to carry themselves. Oh, you can't amazing. judge the them and change their gender because it does not agree with you. Because you have the person. I'm glad that she's on here and explaining it. This queen is do your shit. Do your shit. But I had to do this video. I know I have he found my <laughs> Oh, I tell you, speaking tongues, speaking tongues, baby, speaking tongues. Well, I don't That's what look, we do. The they, they That's feminine, what us queens do. Different. Like when I filmed it before, it was she in the studio. Or, she yeah, needs me. She needs me there. You know. So it, 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 it's, it's, I, I claim it. I take that crown <laughs> and show them how to do it. And the show is so good, and they touch on so much stuff. And I cannot wait for you guys to see it because it's yeah. good. The first episode gonna fuck y'all up. I believe it because the the 
the episode with... We got uh, my brother Evan Ross out there. Yeah. yeah. He's so nice. Yeah. He's nice. I Did you see me through the after show with him? And he's rich. Yeah, That's no. no, he's rich. That's yeah, fun. And he walked in and he was just like... The way he looked at me when he walked in was just... I don't know. It was no, he's... To the you know, his, his father was a billionaire who died and he's rich. Oh. He inherited a lot of money. I hey, love it. One of the I, was up for, yeah, I was up for one of the roles on there. You were? I was close to a character Amari, Amari. that played uh, Cotton's love interest. It was Cotton. Isn't it ironic? Kamaya Scott. I know. I was like, yeah, isn't it ironic? But I mean, I would have did the role. I'm Wait, is that what do they call? Is that uh, reality playing? What is it? It's when art imitates life. Art yeah. imitates life. Yes. Well, I guess it didn't imitate good because I didn't get the role. We gonna put a word into it. But I would listen. I would have absolutely done a role. I'm yeah. an actor. I would have did that role. You'd have did, did the, it. I would have did the fuck out that role. Amaya is gorgeous too. Yeah, I mean, it's, I'm an actor. That's my girl. Love seeing it all. Huh? You could do a love scene. Yeah, I would have did. I would. I'm telling you, do I, it I, was, I was. I was. It was between me and like <laughs> do it with other guys. Let me ask you a question because I find that more men are attracted to transsexual women than they are to men. Like more. Let, let me back up. Let me say. Well, oh, don't I, say I, that I, because you gonna have gay men going crazy. Don't do that. Okay, let me say this. Don't don't put gay, us against each other. Don't okay, do that. Okay, gay men, transsexual women get the better guys than gay men do. Yeah, well, because men in their minds get to think that they're like, you know... With a woman. Exactly. It's a fantasy. And this is what I try to tell women. How I'm do like, we normalize that where I can have a conversation? Because I get into No, wait, wait. I need to know what she was about to tell women. I try to tell women all the time, like, ma'am, men yeah. think with their penis. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All so the you time. Can't, you yep. can't put a label on them. A man is never... A straight man is never going to identify as gay. Ever. Never. Yep. As he shouldn't. Ever. Mm-hmm. As he should. He might get his dick sucked 30 times 30, but he ain't never That's gonna nine, identify nine, as, as a gay <laughs> man. Dirty, bro. <laughs> he's That's never true. gonna do it. And I understand it because when he's looking at a trans woman, he's looking he's he's looking at a woman embodied. Okay. And, and in, wrapped in the fantasy he wants to have, mm-hmm. correct. It's the safest way to it's, have it's that all fantasy. About, and I'm, it's also and it's also forbidden fruit kind of thing. Melissa, like it, you are a woman. You yes. know a man will cut a hole in a box and stick his dick in until he explodes. Yes. I did that. Yes. Well. I did that. Yes. Yeah. Of course you did, I did yeah. So I did it to my teddy bear when I was like eight, nine. So this is the thing. I think people over... They overemphasize the, the, the weirdness this, of it all. And let me ask you, this is what I try to tell people. Because, you know, I, I had to tell somebody in Australia the other day, I rarely date straight uh, gay men. You tell it, you take, I really, really do. Straight I love finding a man mm-hmm. who's, who's curious. Who's curious? Mm-hmm. Tell me, what's your, what's the approach? Do they approach you? Tell me how. Uh, you want to get some Gucci them. shoes? I'll, 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 I'll tell you the approach. <laughs> tell me how is for you. And Michelle's sitting behind you. She didn't order a couple cars for him. Here's the approach. Oh. What's your flight information? Oh, you bring them in. Yeah, mm-hmm. I import export. I'm gonna tell you why. I don't <laughs> like L.A. L.A. is on some fake. Like everybody here trying to, you got ten roommates and you you you, you drive a rented Maserati. I ain't got time for all that. I want somebody who's cute, young, who can have he a likes good to time build a and nigga. can go home. Build oh. a nigga. But let me tell you why I have no problem building a nigga. Because a boss ain't got no whether you're man or woman ain't got no problem in making sure their partner is solid. Well, I pay Hello. for my, my my actors, and you know a lot of them which were wanted to do it for free, and I was like, listen, no, no, no. When you get this good us, I need you to go home. <laughs> oh my God, you guys are like. Kindred spirits, When you man. get this good plus, you need to go home. I don't want you thinking that this is business, bitch. Get the fuck out. You can't suck it no more. You can't fuck it no more. Hey, I say the same shit, girl. Let me get some of that good plus. That good plus. You can't have no more. <laughs> Hello, real talk. You can't have no more. Real talk. Get, get it and go home. Hey, what's the other shit? How do you Take care of your business and move an on. Do you understand what I'm saying? Community. How do we get straight men to understand that it's okay to have a gay experience. Oh, you never, never. gonna get them. Never. Are you hear it? it you never gonna get them to say that. You just gotta hang out with them after the show. No, not even hang out with them after the show. That's what. That's no, what. Okay. That's why when I was doing my porn heart going hard in the paint like that, I, I catered it, catered to straight men because I wanted men to know, Nick, Nick sir, you're not alone. You are not alone. <laughs> You're not alone, and I wouldn't. Now, there, when I first started, I, I did. I feel like, like going to pass collection. Right? <laughs> when I first started, I did allow men to wear their masks. I did, mm-hmm. but as I grew into a bigger star, I said, "No, nah, it's outlaw," because I'm not going to further perpetuate the stigma that men are down low. Mm. Nigga, get out here, suck this dick, right now. 
right now. Okay, so I have. Look at me in my eyes and put your lips around this dick in a second. Okay, so. <laughs> my love. Very sensitive to him, man. Uh, do you, you doubt you have to watch my video. <laughs> okay, my, okay, my love. I, I have I have so many questions. Come on, ask me. And I always, and I always, I, I ask Sydney this, I ask Lath this. Um, I love Lath. I, I love Lake too. Baby. Oh my God! Just, Lake just, told me after the show we got to go have lunch so you could ask me all the questions you didn't want to ask me. <laughs> but you know, Lake, but you know what the thing about Lake is? Lake is very Lake walks the line. Mm. Lake yeah. don't get deep into no, it. No, he don't. No, no, Lake, no. He don't do that. Lake's fine I, as fuck. You seen Lake? I had to beautiful. stop. I had. Lake, I was, listen, I fucked with. Uh, I fucked with a trans man before. I didn't know what it was. I've never done that. See, I don't like that. I don't like that. I Jason thought I was tell the story. I thought I was talking to a man. Mm -hmm. Come on, tell thought me. Thought I was talking body look just like yeah, Lath. Look just like Lath. Everything, bitch, <laughs> everything. Drunk at a Christmas party at my house, stuck the dick in. It was a little too wet. It reminded me of Nikki Hunt, my ex girlfriend. <laughs> so I pulled out and realized what it was. It was a trans man that hadn't told me that they were trans. Because I reached around, there was no penis. Well, I mean, I, that's that's dangerous. It could be. If it's it's dangerous split. for us too to do that. Yeah. You know, this and this is why I'm an advocate. That, no, that's what I meant for her, yeah. for her, uh, him. Yeah, but I'm an advocate for all trans people before we have a sexual encounter mm -hmm. to disclose. To disclose. Mm -hmm. It's Im it's imperative that you dis disclose, especially no especially during this time when mm -hmm. we when we're so demonized. Yep. You know, and this is why yep. when we get down to me that's talking true. about th this yep. situation with my family. Oh, you know what's coming. I had to. I have to speak out because mm -hmm. you're not gonna make you're not gonna make a, a demon out of me, you know. Mm -hmm. So, but for me, it's, it's imperative that you're honest. Like you have to say, "Listen, this what it is, babe. Mm -hmm. We finna sew a fight. What's up with it? Joust, bitch. <laughs> Joust. We're exchanging information. You're my new best so, friend. Uh, no, no, seriously. No. 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 Last, yes. last show, I had to tell Gio keep his own friends. I, this is my friend. No, but, but, listen, is sharing. but now I'm not gonna walk in the room and say, "Hey, everybody, I'm trans transsexual." Right. I'm not gonna do that. But if you if if they if it comes down to there's some type of, because I'm all when a man is over there standing and he's like, "What? I'm like, baby, what you? What's wrong with you?" Is God telling you something different? <laughs> Listen to the Spirit of God. You scared the shit out of me. Listen to God. No, what's scary is that she spoke to your soul, and your soul said, "Wake up, nigga." Wake up. <laughs> okay, so, yes. So, so uh, yes. do you prefer straight men or gay men? Well, I haven't had the opportunity to have a gay relationship. Okay. When I jumped out, I jumped out as. Bitch, I'm real. So okay, so back to the question that I was gonna ask because I asked lion. Sydney ask late this. Okay, when people think about the concept of transgender and, and the process, mm -hmm. most people think that the ultimate goal is to do an entire change, entire conversion, mm -hmm. but you didn't well, feel Well, that's, that's once again up to everybody's individual it, feeling. It's, so it's, it, maybe it's like an antiquated way of you thinking. Know, that, might be, that might be a person's uh, uh, conclusion. Right. That might, I'm done. Right. <laughs> I got the sex change, I'm done. Right. You got to be done here first. Oh, right. That's deep. Yes. Yes. I heard that when it comes yeah, to, when it deep. comes to like a, the total sex change operation where they, you know, turn a P into a V or mm -hmm, vice versa, mm -hmm. that there's a lot of uh, psychological kind of. I ain't got time for that. Okay, so you're not you're not gonna have that surgery. Why? She seems like quite happy. With Bitch, I made a million dollars from home. Okay, I, I have, heard listen, that. I have I the heard answers that. to this question, but I'm gonna ask anyway. I heard that. Be you. <laughs> be you. So if you um, good you found that the with the top and this that and that, that just be you. If you, you satisfied and happy with, fuck, fuck well, everybody I mean, else. They, you ain't gotta cut your dick off or or uh, close your, sew your pussy you know, up to make somebody up else happy. They, do they you make you happy? I'm telling you. Cause motherfuckers will drain you. You better put your hand up your dick. Cause I'm a dick lover. I likes the meat. You know. We could. We have a lot in common. But that's. But that's what they say when you're on probation. But but before, like I've had, I've had so many different epiphanies in my life. I, I made a video on a, a YouTube where I was sitting on with a yellow turban on and my titties, was, and I told a story about how a Puerto Rican guy turned me out. Mm -hmm. I used to think that men that like to be porked in the butt were gay. Mm -hmm. What'd you say? Porked. porked. He's Fucked gonna, in the ass. He's about to add that to his repertoire. Well, I, I, thought that they were, that I, I felt like that was a gay man. I didn't want to have anything to do with a man getting por por porked in his butt. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I want a man, man. Okay. But the, as I, the evolution comes. Mm -hmm. And you find out that sex is an experience. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, it's yes, 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 it is. It's an experience. Yep. Sex is an experience. 
You like that? That's that's a commercial. Just one more time. Sex is an experience. I agree. And it's an experience that should be explored to its fullest potential. Well, it could be I don't have some bad experiences. Yeah, and you don't want to do it no more. But between But you never fucked a man. And here's the thing. But when you do allow yourself to explore yourself, you're never a man. That's what they forgot to say. So I'm going to say it for them. It's an experience that should be shared with two consenting adults. Let's not misunderstand that. You ate coochie? You ate it? Let's not misunderstand that. I'll tell you the truth. Did you eat coochie? The last time I ate pussy, I could tell you. I tell you, I knew the girl's name. Her name was April. White girl and her sister both raped me when I was 10 years old and had me eating their pussy while they were smoking Marlboros. <laughs> All of this shit was fucked up. So you had, I you don't had like lots of sexual experiences. I don't like <laughs> cigarettes with him too. I don't like cigarettes and I don't like vagina <laughs> because of April and her sister. Yeah, I just, it was a lot going on. There was cats in the room. It was dark. <laughs> Like, where was my mom at? Like, I'm like, what the fuck you is going on? You never told anybody this? Nah, and you know, a 10-year-old dick ain't all the way where it is now. So, clearly, like, Shit, y'all had some... They was like 16, 18 years old. 18, 18, yeah, they were older. I was 10 years old fucking two white girls with smoking Marlboro. That's just... <laughs> <Yo. laughs> my mom used to smoke Benson Hedges. Well, but anyway. you know what? You know, I... I had a conversation with a friend. Where do you go after? But, but I wasn't traumatized by vagina. Like I, you know, you know, for me, putting your dick in a hole is just common. It's just whether this hole or that hole. It just. But no, let me tell you, what, what I didn't. Of? I didn't think that it was not good for a man to get. Because I, I felt like I'm fish, honey. I'm real. I'm a real woman, and it, and this Puerto so Rican. You always felt that. Yeah. Okay. Well, sexually, I yes, did. Yes, yes, yes. So when the Puerto Rican, what he? Man, do? that Puerto Rican. Is... Hmm. That Puerto Rican turn me out. I love Puerto Ricans but, right now. But he, but no, I like Dominicans. I love them. if you if you que es hable español, háblame immediatamente. I like anything. I like anything with white skin with a hat and crutches. Oh, I ain't worried about that. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no. No, just like. No, no, that's a good That's our. That, 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 <laughs> no, that's our friend. That's our friend's. That's our. That's our female friend's fiance in the back. It's just I Listen, like. I like. Me, a nice I ain't, I'm not worried about the color or the. Or the, the, the I like the fuck. You know. But here's the thing: the Puerto Rican guys turned me on, and I had a different. Like I, I felt like I was denying myself after after he did the, look it up on YouTube. It's called what is it called? I mean, my Puerto, uh, how a Puerto Rican turned me out. It's just like a... You, was it dick that would turn you out in the no, whole it was the sexual... No, experience. Yeah, like, this. I picked him up. Walking, he was walking down the street in a black neighborhood. He had gold chains on it. And it's, you pulled up on him. I pulled up on him. I said, baby, you gonna get fucked up, Rowdy. What you doing in this neighborhood? <laughs> you know, he was He's like... in the car. He was like, mommy, drop me off. My homeboy don't drop me off. You know, I'm from Miami. So all them niggas down there is niggas. Whether you're Spanish nigga, you're Cuban, black nigga, you're white nigga, all you're them niggas is niggas down there. <laughs> so, you know, he, he was like, man, but, but take me some, whatever. So I put him, I got him in the car, he was riding around, and back then I was a, f- bitch, I wasn't even, I, I thought I was pussy, but I wasn't pussy, bitch, I had, I was orange, and Georgia dirt, and I raised the ball, all under the neck, I had a little ball, shit. I wasn't even into my full, my full, I was young. You went into your full fish, as you would say, huh? Yeah, baby, I got that, that motherfucking Puerto Rican boy was in, captivated, and he was like, oh my God, baby, you so damn, yeah, I'm like, you lying, but yeah. I'm yeah, a, I'm a, I hear you. I hear you. you how much money you got? <laughs> <laughs> and so, how did that sexual experience? He was straight. Yeah, well, that's what he, we all well, yeah, all yeah. straight men are straight. Yeah, I've heard. So the when you got him, the experience was it just the passion? Well, it was. He did some freaky shit. Like you know, I thought Puerto I want, Ricans are passionate. I wanted him to wear his ass out. Mm. That motherfucker. He made God, love to you. That motherfucker laid me back on the bed and was like. <laughs> I saw him. <laughs> Father God, don't take me now, Jesus. <laughs> I bet y'all didn't think y'all was gonna get that tea. See, y'all better tune in for the Queen's Court, Supreme, Supreme Queen's Court tonight. Audience, y'all got the tea, the Queen. She telling it all. She is telling it. Kaya can't fuck with her. Y'all motherfucker, y'all bitches better leave T. S. Madison alone. Lord, she she giving the tea. She's spilling the tea all over the place with the honey, baby. My soul ain't right, Jesus. She's inspiring me. <laughs> Man, after he after he sucked that See, thing up like this, that. this is the problem I have. Hold on, I gotta tell you. Wait, can I just tell you? I don't know whether <laughs> oh, no, to take gotta, a break and drink said, this water. <laughs> spit in his hand. 
had me laid back on the bed. No. Laid back on the bed, spit in his hand, wiped it in the cracks of his air, climbed up on, I'm watching all this stuff happen to me. Please keep going. Climbed up on the bed. And slammed his, his ass down on me. And it, it was like, it was like, it's. <laughs> let, 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 this, this, is the, this is the problem that I have. When men like that, that's allegedly straight, do shit like this, it make all of us not safe. <laughs> it's so wow. Listen, I told, it's fucked me up. I told my boo the other day while I was in Australia, this is so inappropriate, but fuck it, I have a license giving you just sucked on the mic like that. <laughs> They said, I said, I got a flight for you. I need you to come and see me um, this week, this week. And he goes, well, uh, well, what day you want me to come? I said, well, what day you want to come? He said, well, I could come Tuesday, but I got to leave Thursday. I said, no, you're not coming for two days. If you come, you got to stay. Come Thursday and stay till Monday. And then they were like, okay, okay, what, what all you want to do? I said, well, I'm definitely going to put my face in your ass. He's for sure. I said that. Oh, oh no. Gosh. And he was like, okay, what else? I said, I can't think beyond that. So I said all that to say. Straight men like to play around and explore as long as they feel safe and they feel like they can trust you. So clearly he felt safe and trustworthy if he could just hop up on it like that. And just came down and went. I was like, what? Wait, 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 wait. On your. F no, on my penis. So he. I was 19 years old. He spit in his hand. <laughs> I was like, what? This, this is, is going, me. This is going viral. I just want to let you know that right now. <laughs> This thing went viral. See, I'm late getting the tea. I'm late. My viewers told me earlier on um, the Queen's Castle. See, Miss Mama Gina did hers. Um, I told y'all Mondays at 10 a.m. is gonna be Miss Gina Queen of Talk Show at the Queen's Castle. So you guys gotta watch it because it's hot. It's hot. And oh my God, everybody told me this was this was, this was viral. This is great. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I hope you guys. I People love ask me, why did you move back from New York? You moved to New York. I said, I'm going to tell y'all. I, I had one version of what I told people, and I'm going to tell y'all the truth Come right on, now. give me the truth right now. The first version was, it was too many Dominicans, and they really was driving me crazy. I really felt thirsty for the first time. I had never been the neck breaking, like, oh, my God, like, thirsty. I was thirsty. Why I really moved back, the thirst had led to me fucking one in an abandoned apartment. And I found myself in the bathroom of an abandoned apartment in the Washington Heights saying to myself, how did what? I get here? I got Jason Lee. What but, the fuck am I listen, doing? Listen, let me part? tell you something. But he led me there. Yeah, he led you there. And you don't really get, you don't really fuck in abandoned apartments no more, right? No, not at I'm all. I'm going to tell you why. It's, you got to put a limitation on yourself. Even when I was doing adult films, yeah. when I was doing it, I didn't get into pee and scat and whatever. Scat. I didn't get into any of that stuff because <laughs> you, you, I had a water sport experience once. That almost, water sport. A water sport experience once that, that almost drove me to... to I like this. I had to draw my, pull myself back. Like, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> what you mean? Like, pissing? Something? So, you like that shit? I don't. Oh, you but almost you, did. Oh, I almost yourself. did. I almost got trapped in that. Like, <laughs> almost got trapped in it. Because I was like, oh, no. But that, that boy trapped me. Turn the sprinklers off. That Puerto Rican boy that... <laughs> That was true. You still <laughs> talk to him. No, that was a one night stand. Oh, Jesus Christ. How did you just let that be a one night stand? Because it sounded, oh, well, from your perspective, Because she was like a working a girl at the time. No, I was just riding in the car. <laughs> trying to get him out the hood. <laughs> trying to get him out the hood. You, guys, you, know? you, you were being a good Samaritan. Yeah. And you didn't you, you didn't want to keep in touch with that? Because I, th I feel like when you find one, I'm like I got. gave me $40. I think it was $40 worth for, for gas. And fuck that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> But you remember the experience for a lifetime. I talked about that. That's like I'm on this platform talking about that experience. You well, know? I mean, no, because I feel like when you find one good one, you should always have like how many Child, do you I have now? I found so many. After but how that? many do you have now? I, in your, I embrace in, your, in my your repertoire. Right now, stable, your roster. Like What's your, your roster phone? looking? How like? many? Garrett Child. Mm. I don't even answer my phone no more. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but can I be honest? Right now, yeah. on set, I haven't had sex in one year. Why? Why? He, him too? Well, he just recently found this young girl, but before that, he hadn't had sex for I a year. I haven't had sex in a year. But why? Why? I, I, I've been working and trying to get my, you know, make sure that my career is stable. When you turn 40 years old, you like, bitch. True. I, I just bitch, 40. how long you got left? Yeah, true, true. <laughs> this yeah, got, you, there. But you I want to have as much sex as possible. No, child, I want to have it later on down the line, child. Oh, but God, right now, on the not, yacht in front, oh, south of France. I done had so much sex before. Girl, I've been fucking since I was 11. <laughs> Le what? Eleven. Eleven. Not eleven. 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 Wow. I've been fucking and wow. sucking dicks.
Wow. Now that's your hunt, you guys. I ain't, I ain't got to have My no baby is 11 years old. That, that haunts me. That terrifies me. See? Wow. She this is this, this education. Yeah. Well, see, here's education. Like, see, these babies is, is messing around at 10, 11 years old. I think she'd get pre show right for her money, though. with me, I'm fucking your life up. Bitch, you ain't gonna never stop calling me, texting me, paging me, beating me because of my sex. I'm a Libra. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna oh, give him. Oh, you very sexual. Sexual and. Mm. He has a romantic, yeah. he has love. Geo, Geo is your dick hard? I mean, we, we're, we're under the sign of Aphrodite. Geo, is your yeah, dick hard? Yeah, no, my dick's not hard. I'm just like. I'm assuming we're ruled up, by our genitals. Oh, yes. shit ain't hard. Yes. It could be. <laughs> Ooh, I saw that. Sit, sit back down while I shit ain't hard. Sit back down while I keep looking at it. My shit ain't hard, man. I just think she's very entertaining. She needs a. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So you said that? somebody said you were fat. I don't see you as fat. I see you as thick. Voluptuous? Yes. Well, I'm a black broad. Very shapely. I'm a black broad. That's what we I mean. Like like Listen, I told a doctor, make sure you make me like that big booty bitch over there. <laughs> <laughs> so what me? Wait, the scar on your shoulder. What is that from? I was fighting, fighting. a dude. Really? A, I, I, I already could tell. Wait, you what did you say? What? I fighting. was fighting a dude. No, I thought maybe you got shot. Or Man, something. I was fighting a nigga. A nigga tried to steal my car, and you you started squaring up like a nigga. Squaring up with that. So all, wait, wait. All this, all that, go out the door. I'm a what? This is a thug right here. This with my heels on, I'm against so you. And I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna square up with you. What's up, man? I know that's right. I know that's right. You got a pistol. I know Listen, that's I right. I got an AK. I got a uh, Ruger. What you know about a Ruger? I got she a. She know nine. a lot about it. You should I shut got up a now, 380 Jill. that I keep in my pocket book. And I got a revolver. Well, we already had a gun pulled out on us on this show. Yeah, so pull the gun. No, I don't keep it. I ain't going to play. Boom, pull the gun up. Oh. Boom game. Yeah. yeah. He's unstable. Oh, like game shit. So he's now the reason why we no <laughs> longer we no longer let crack babies come to the Ooh. studio. Nope. I ain't say that. Away. So y'all boom game fans don't be uh, you know he from Florida. Is he? Boom game. Yeah. Right? We you know we Florida folks ain't right. No. You can't Y'all got the stage. They sure ain't. Like them Florida. Man, they, 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 they fucking you know, crazy card out is crazy as hell. They gonna whoop your ass. But they put down and they gonna shoot you. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Y'all heard about Griselda. Yeah. Hey, them motherfuckers shooting malls out out in the cops. open during the like, motherfucking daytime. Okay, okay. y'all better the leave trick them trick Florida motherfuckers alone. Mm-hmm. You know, I love Trick. I used to think Trick was the greatest rapper. So listen, I just crump fritters. No, listen. No, Kunk. It's called Kunk fritters. Kunk. I just did Wild and Out, Thank and you. Trick Daddy was one of the guests. He yes. looks like he killed people on the way to Wild and Out. He said like that in Bomber Trick Daddy. Listen. Trick but is, he's the nicest guy. Trick cool, like Trick cool. I want a prop, no smoke. Trick is cool, <laughs> and, and Trick to me, for me, Trick was that was the rap god to mm. me because yeah. I'm from from, from Miami. Yeah. So is he got no now, look, uh uh-uh. uh. Don't be in the places I be in. Who can spin the grains that I spin? Oh, that's Trina. Would you, you ever do like love it? Would you ever do love hip hop? No. Too urban. Well, I wouldn't do love hip hop because you know I don't like the way Fox. No, not because of Fox. Okay. Did y'all do Fox Love and Hip I mean, I do Fox, Fox and Love VH1. and Hip Hop. <laughs> I do VH1. But you won't do it because. I don't like the way Mona spins the storyline for gay people. Mm. He just stopped. Uh, preach. Because Jason's what? about That's, to go yeah, off. He says it all the time. Listen, people were mad at me because I didn't go back to Love and Hip Hop. But what they didn't understand is privately, you know, I don't do the whole deal with my issues on social media. Mm-hmm. I deal with them through text message, phone calls. Mm-hmm. I said to her. Because that is, when it gets I strategic, said, you I have said, those things to I back said, you up. Right. I said, gay men get off jets gay men travel the world gay men make money doing things other than stunts so do trans and gay people. men ain't on grinder all day so if your storylines reflect what everybody thinks gay people do, i'm not gonna be a part of that yeah. and she yeah. didn't understand that so yeah. i just didn't find myself back onto yeah. the show yeah i mean for mona me, is you know I, she she messy I don't dislike she mona, is about you know, I, I, I love I, mona I, scott I but she is mona about the escape situation making her money so being messy because drama and mess I saw, sell I saw stories, keep people crazy. looking. Look at Kaya. Look at all the shit that's going on with her and AT Lynn and all of them. It's it's the messiness. They keep the messiness going because people want to see it and they're going to give likes and clicks and likes and clicks and viewership makes money. Kaya was, that's I what it's about. Like, oh, now, now Kaya, that's, so was T.I. Kaya. looking at you or Kaya? Kaya, T.I. didn't look at nobody. Uh, right. He just walked in, he came in, I guess he went for. Hey, I always wanted to smash Kaya. I ain't gonna lie. 
Uh, yeah. Before we, before we, we get on, let me say this. Okay. Kaya is Kaya is a very beautiful. She is. Gorgeous. She's beautiful, and she got big breasts. Re she's beautiful. She's and, gorgeous. And regardless to whatever going on right now, I'm not gonna rag her. So listen, I before you, before bro. we get I know too that's deep right. into do it. before we get too deep into the Queen's Court, mm -hmm. uh, let's go back to the escape thing. So Tamar Braxton had invited you as a guest. Yes to their show she was performing in to on tour with escape mm -hmm. and you showed up and then somehow escape asked y'all to leave well I how mean, did that happen well tamar tamar and i have been talking for a while i like tamar we've been speaking for a while we've been communicating on, on, like via stuff right. for Texting a while yeah yeah, yeah. you mm -hmm. know and she was when when kaya first came on on my platform because let's let's be clear kaya came to my house mm -hmm. kaya came on my platform. queen's court was your idea no queen's court was not my idea C queen's court was our our thing color. it was the evolution of you already had your platform i had mine and she had hers okay she was calling let me let me go look she was calling her show thugged but, out tuesdays or tur tur hold on let me go because I, I have i keep everything just in case what you yes. said? The receipt collector. Yes. And the bag whisperer. Yes. I know that's <laughs> not case. I know. Because on these bitches, you got to collect right receipts. Because right these right bitches right is right good for bringing some legit. shit, bogus shit up. It was called Turn Up Tuesdays uh, with Queen Kaya and P. Weezy. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a year ago. And it says Turn Up Tuesdays. Then it was called, uh, it was called Lots of Things. And then things. your platform was called what? My thing was, uh, hold on, what I used to call it? Unapologetically, You Out the Dark or... You know, it was just that. It was whatever I whatever I got up. I didn't have a specific... I didn't brand it. It was just me getting up, talking about celebrities, talking about movies, you know, giving my feedback on food. You know, it was just that. It was me taking... Call, people would call in. We would just have a discussion. And so then the two of you, that those platforms m m merged into or, or elevate, uh, what do you merged. Call, evolved into the Queen's Well, it, we, mer we, had, we, we got together in uh, uh, April of 2015. And we were doing, we were doing a, uh, what the fuck is that, uh, for breast cancer. Mm -hmm. We was doing Awareness. A, a breast cancer, but it was a, a fundraiser we okay. were doing at Pulse Nightclub. Okay. You know, we got together then, because I just saw on social media what she posted. She said she only knew me for five months. Mm. <laughs> but, you know, so, whatever. So you guys got together, uh, it evolved into the Queen's Court. Well, it evolved into us, you know, we would come together, we would blog, we would, she talked about Janet Jackson, like the, the she was reading Janet Jackson. She was telling the story about that. Boom, we got views off that. She went away. She was doing her 4th of July blogs and, you know, stuff like that. And then we came together and we did that vlog because she was talking about Papoose mm -hmm. and Remy after Sheether mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And, you know, it just went viral. And then, you know, after that she went and then we, we, we were communicating back and forth. I said, well, girl, come on, let's, you know, let's sit down and just, you know, we went to vlogging again. And then it just started to grow into something and then we sat back first of all we were going to call the show the docket mm -hmm. that's what we were going to call the show we were sitting down trying to figure out which names we we're going and then she's like what about queen's court and i said like, okay well let's do the queen's like the because she she called her thing twice maybe the queen court mm -hmm. so now i was like okay what's well, the queen's court let's mm -hmm. do the queen's court she's like okay cool cool boom so we just whatever and when i when i got involved i brought my business sense from what i was doing in the porn world mm -hmm. Bitch, let's go get this. Bitch, we need pictures and flyers and. That's right. We yeah. need to make. Cause this that's how a boss do it. That's how a boss Getting bitch a of, do it. A lot of major. They get that paperwork guy, together, baby. Kaya, you know, it was about Kaya saying these things. Rec However, being reckless. Yeah, being reckless. Yeah. However, it was tubed through me. Yeah. So we we can't say that. No, there was a, there's a Lucy, but there was an Ethel Lucy, and together it was it was magical. You know, you know? And she would mm. she she would say things out of her mouth, and it wasn't about what she it was about what she said, and it was about my reaction, my eye, my this, my body language. Your it dancing was, and all a, the theatrics. It, it's a, it was a it's, it was a duo thing. A combination. Yeah. It, it is what it was. Yeah. Now now we're in a situation where I am the star. This my show. This my shit. It's mine. You know, this is what's going on with her. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm just back like okay, cool. You know. I, you know, whatever. Then she, I don't know what happened. Whatever you guys are seeing online. So you guys were in D.C. hosting events. You guys were working. And then all I saw in the midst of traveling was there was uh, something that got out that she had said something disrespectful to the LGBT community. A letter came out from the people that mm -hmm. was hosting you in D.C. Okay, here it is. We had that incident what happened with Monique. Monique. I got a, a, a tweet from K. Michelle's fan page 
when K. Michelle's fan page, she responded to K. Michelle's fan page and said, I go on the Queen's Court. I jumped at the opportunity right there because it's a big opportunity. It's like Monique is the hot topic right now. That's right. We that ratchet show. I said that. Keeps, that. I you know, said Monique is the, was so the hottest is, topic is, out right then and there. Every every platform show, she right? went on so went I viral, on and that was a big thing for them. And then <laughs> Kaya asked when he fucked it up. That's not Kaya. Excuse me. That's not Kaya Stilo. Kaya yeah. is very fuck you. Fuck everybody. Fuck you, mm-hmm. bitch. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, bitch asshole. Fuck blah blah blah. So that's Kaya, you know. And I'm like, okay, sister, that's cool. Yeah. You know you that way, but bitch, this gonna move our show in the direction that you want. And, and I, I see lots of things that Kaya is saying, mm-hmm. but let's be real here. Everybody wants to elevate in this world. Mm-hmm. So, do you think now that, that now that you all have fallen out, I always find it interesting when friends fall out or when something happens and then a person starts saying stuff that you go, you always thought that way about me. So now that she's saying all the homophobic things are towards you or about you, do you feel like that she always harbored those thoughts? Uh, right now, to be honest with you, I don't really know who that is that I'm looking at. Okay. Because the person that I fell in love with, you know, was a, was was the artist. Was the artist Kaya? I can't, when we met with each other, I met her with respect. Like, bitch, I I don't I got all your music. This and I respected her just like I would respect any any artist. That's just right. Like, just like That's right. Melissa, come on. I was like, I know exactly who you are. I'm gonna respect you. You know. What about and, me? I was looking at your dick in your pants. That part, you so just left yourself I, wide open, Gio. Yeah, and you, were, dick, look, keep and it you open. were looking at her titties. I just so. respected you even more when you just <laughs> sat like that. I was like, yeah. You say you got 10 inches. It's online. Oh, well, anyway. Let's, let's find his pictures, but, exactly. Okay. We'll we'll get, we'll, we'll we'll get, but I, re, I respected her, you God know. And, and, and this is the thing. You haven't seen me say anything derogatory about Kaya. You're not. Even you on our spoke, personal yeah. call, you didn't. She mm-hmm. can, Kaya can go out there and carry and, and do all the stuff that she wants to do. But I when I walked in that door, I, I walked in the door with genuine love for her. And I walked in with, I want, this is something that we can grow together. And she yes. knew it. Yes. She knew it. Come on. Mm-hmm. So then just the spec, because I watched. Did you want to ask me about Nikki? Yeah. Well, no, before we get to Nikki, I watched oh. your interview. I watched you trying to get the Monique thing gone. And then I watched. Uh, Monique's Periscope talking to you and you trying to get Kaya yeah, to get I, on. I cried because I was so frustrated that this, that it was falling apart. It was falling apart yeah. and it was not about falling apart. It was about misunderstandings and stuff. And It just, was about this is the time. This yeah. show is going to grow from yeah. this. This is what's going to make. At, Monique didn't go to the Breakfast Club. Yeah. She didn't go to uh, 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 Hollywood on Hollywood. Lockdown Center. She, she came to the Queen's Court. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Come on, we just... That was a big deal. We was yeah. just in that scandal with, with Escape and all that stuff. We were just in that, like, come on, dog. And I'm like, you have to see the movements. The bigger picture. Yeah. The, you have to see God's movements mm-hmm. in it. This is not checkers, bitch. This is chess. Okay, all right. Huh? And you got to look at the fact that it's an opportunity that's bigger than you. Mm-hmm. It's not about you. It's about the audience. That yes. Yeah. And, and it's about the bag. And, and here's the thing. When we, when we when Nikki, you know, I'm going to say what I can. Okay. Just like I said on the video, what I could. when Nikki reached out, Nikki did reach out to Kaya. Nikki reached out to both of us. It was like right after the Pebbles thing, you know, whatever. She she thought it was funny. She was like, "Have y'all just have y'all want to do TV?" And I was like, "Yeah, we we'd be interested in TV." And, and I called Kaya, and she said, "I've been inboxing her," but I said, "Well, she, girl, she, I was like, girl, Nikki, she ain't gone. She she's just she's, she's, and she's Kaya is antisocial like that." Like she ain't but well, she's also very isolating. Like I, I so she's I was a online. I was online one day. I saw the Queen's Court. I called in. Mm-hmm. I went on the show and talking to you guys. But everyone was like, "Yo, I gotta have you come on the show." I got off and then I was on the docket. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she had went from liking me and posting the Cardi B interview here to, to trash her and then to, to like, trash me because that's and what she like, do. Really she a rat. She a smile on your face and give you and, and she a trash you all in the same well, ground. Beauties of the show too, like the balance. Yeah. But like she was way out reckless and, and I got to come back, come back, so sister. Back. Yeah. Bitch, you know, don't go so that far, you know. But this is the thing, you know. Nikki, Nikki communicated and whatever, and and Nikki is a very and when people say Nikki is homophobic and this and the other, like she don't like gay because I heard gay people say that's not true. Mm-hmm. I've met Nikki. She's cool. She's Nikki is the shit. I love her, mm-hmm. and she's very. I, I I do, and I'm not kissing her ass, or whatever. But you know, I I. Have you talked to Nikki since the whole uh, the, the things dissolved or the separation between you and Kai? Have you guys talked? I guess you can't say. Hey, Nikki, call me, girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, but um, I will say this. You know. She was awarding us a good opportunity, and and Kaya said things like, "Oh, that I, I watched some of her videos. I was like, Kaya, you know that's not like stuff. It's just not true." But 
the, the, here's here's the part with the trademark thing that everybody's so like up and think up in arms about the trademark situation. The reason why I brought Nikki because Nikki asked me when we spoke. She said, "Why did you say bring up you know what what was going on with us?" And I said, "Because I was trying to paint." Because she's went out here and said, "I'm a liar. I stole the, the thing from her, mm-hmm. or whatever." You pulled out the receipts, and I'm like. This is what happened. And if you watch her story, mm-hmm. it corroborates with mine. Mm-hmm. Even though she's leaving out pieces, mm-hmm. she said, I didn't like the deal. Right. And when I said in my story, she didn't like the deal. Mm-hmm. So what we said was, we were going to corner the motherfucking market. Bitch, we was going to trade I mean, all the, this the, And the, the deals could always be worked out. Right. Yeah, but listen, she wanted us to, she wanted people to come to us. We said, we want a million motherfucking dollars. And I said, we can command a million dollars if we own the brand. brand like, yeah. if we build it strong enough to, to command that, mm-hmm. we can command that, or we can make it from the basement, bitch, what you want to do. Mm-hmm. And she was like, yes, bitch. So, so, we, uh, uh, we had a plan. We sat down. And we planned. She was like, "Okay, we need to get the website. The web. We need to. We need to get the traffic going to the website. We need to stop. We need to stop putting it on Facebook. Whatever." So I'm here taking notes, and I'm trying to get the stuff together. The trademark situation came when I got on the telephone. I called called my lawyer mm-hmm. or whatever, and we talked about it. And I said, "Kaya, uh, bitch, let's go ahead on the trademark this stuff." She said, "Handle that." Mm-hmm. So I. I Paid for the application, this and the other. I had already been bidding for the website. Uh-huh. I, I, we got the website. It, nothing that happened, she was oblivious to. Right. You now, people were like, why you didn't put her name on the trademark? Why you didn't do this and the other? Well, she told me she was going to give me the money. Right. I never said I wouldn't do it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so, what so, what, so she's that? so she's claiming that you were shady and tried to like. She said I did it under her nose, and I'm like, right. Kaya, are you crazy? Mm. How you gonna do? I wouldn't have made no moves. First of all, if you wasn't deep into it, I wouldn't have spun one motherfucking dime. Right. I wouldn't have spun shit. I know that's right. Bitch, I, I had money right. before I met you, whore. What yeah. are you talking about? I wouldn't have bought nothing. <laughs> I wouldn't have done nothing. Yep, yeah, I know that's me? right. And the thing is, when people talking this shit about me being shy and shady, Kaya, live. I ain't. I haven't. I haven't. I didn't deny her from anything. Mm-hmm. 